Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Ghosts and Spirits Encounters video. I thought I would mix this one in here while I'm continuing to do your mysteries and disappearances suggestion. This one has to do with yet another creepy and scary encounter with a shadow person. So this was again associated with the reddit.com website. They're from the subreddit called Shadow People. It comes from a user by the name of NewChain146. And they titled theirs as Encounter with Shadow Figure in Dorm Room. So let's go ahead and let's talk about that here. And then I'll give an example of what could be a similar situation of this type. But it was over there at Texas State University. In fact, I visited it just to see if there was something available for like a ghost hunt of sorts. But more on that here in a minute. You'll see what I mean. But here's what this user states. When I was still in college, I used to stay alone in a dorm room in a building where the hallway lights would have remained on at all times. During one summer, when I admittedly had gotten in the habit of severely messing up my sleep patterns by pulling all-nighters fueled by energy drinks, I had tried to do what I could to block out the light from my window so that I could sleep in the morning without the sun coming up. Even so, the light from the hallway outside would always be slightly visible from beneath my door. The room was poorly ventilated, and I already had a tendency to experience the phenomenon of sleep paralysis beforehand, where I'd wake up to see or even hear strange things walking towards me before quickly realizing I was dreaming. As terrifying as these sleep paralysis experiences could get, Usually, I'd be able to dismiss them as merely waking dreams. One night, however, roughly around 3 or 4 a.m., I awoke to find myself paralyzed once again. An intense ringing buzzed around my ears, and I saw this tall figure standing in the middle of my room. I couldn't make out any particular details associated with its body, but it seemed to be a silhouette that was even blacker than the rest of the darkness in my room. It must have been at least taller than me, but seemed to tower over my position, and its shape seemed almost like a bowling pin. A somewhat rounded body with an extremely, incredibly thin, elongated neck that tapered into a small, oval-shaped head. On its head were these two tiny, gleaming white dots which I took for its eyes. After, upon noticing it, this figure began to silently glide towards me, its dark shape undoubtedly swallowing up more of the room as it got closer. Eerie as it was, I dismissed this as just another hallucination. As if it responded to that thought, I noticed that it was blocking out the light that would have come from underneath my door. At this point, I was disturbed. It is one thing to have uh, hypnagogic hallucinations during paralysis, but the fact that the light was being blocked implied something really was there to block it. The entity continued to glide silently towards me, betraying no more details in its form beyond its gleaming white eyes, but I felt the ringing in my head escalate as it got closer and closer. When it got to my feet, the paralysis suddenly broke and I kicked it, and it immediately dissolved as though it was made up of bubbles and dust. It distinctly reminded me of the cloaking effect from the Predator films and then other sci-fi movies. Now that I think of it, the silhouette of this visitor did remind me a little of the Kaminoans from the Star Wars Episode II movie, or of the long-necked woman in a painting associated with Tomino's Hell. Long neck, thin, and elongated head. The eyes seem more like distant stars, as tiny as pinheads, yet still gleaming. I've since had many other vivid sleep paralysis experiences, and I can again usually discount them as vivid waking dreams from someone who is a big fan of sci-fi and horror films, but I still try to ground myself in rationality and science, and I am not prone to believing in ghosts or aliens or more fanciful ideas if a simpler explanation exists. And this incident continues to haunt me, for I still cannot fully believe that a sleep paralysis hallucination could be vivid enough to block out a light source. This is the incident that made me take the phenomenon of shadow people more seriously. I wonder if anyone else has had similar experiences with sleep paralysis shadow figures and if any explanations or ways to deal with them could be provided. And then that's it. That's everything that the user NewChain146 stated in their encounters. So let's talk about that here. 
For starters, it looks like you have that situation where this user was in college, they were staying in a dorm room, they were very familiar with it. So in other words, they were talking about the hallway and the lights and how it always was visible very slightly from beneath the door, which played an important part later on. They also apparently suffered from continued sleep paralysis experiences. And then finally, it just took that ultimate turn on that one fateful night at 3 or 4 a.m. So they saw this shadow person. They described it as being something like from that Star Wars movie with the Kaminoans. And I, I know exactly what they're talking about. So you could just picture that. But again, having an intense blackish color to it, like darker than the room itself, as the user described it. But the creepiest part was that it was slowly gliding towards the user. What was it going to do? What exactly were its plans if it was able to get in touch with the user? And then lo and behold, all of a sudden, they were able to snap out of their sleep paralysis. And that's a first. They actually kicked it. They actually almost attacked this shadow person. So hearing that and then hearing that uh, the shadow person basically disintegrated, that definitely took things to another level. But that person knew that it was there because this thing, whatever it was, was blocking out that light, that light from the hallway that they were used to for so long. So they knew that it wasn't a dream, that it wasn't some kind of halluc uh, hallucinogenic effect. Instead, it was absolutely real, and it was there slowly gliding towards them. And then as far as that experience that um, people have had, there's this Texas State University, which used to be known as Southwest Texas University. I can't remember what its name was, but anyways, there's a dorm there that I went to visit one time right while I was doing a little ghost hunt. This was like a ghost hunt that was just in the loosest sense. Uh, it was out in the day. It was out in the open. Uh, there's no way I could ever have access to that dorm room because um, it's I'm not part of the school. So it would be something where you would have to be a student and who knows what you need to get in. But there's a dorm there that has similar encounters. In fact, the idea is there at that dorm, which I went to go visit outside and I found the exact spot where apparently those encounters occur. There's an area there where it's like the washing room area and the washing room area. If you see like where I'm talking about, like if you ever visit that place, you'll notice that that floor actually goes into the ground. So in other words, the 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 dorm is on an elevated hill. And so part of that building actually bleeds into the ground itself. And so you can kind of see the room from the outside, but then it goes into the ground and you can't see the rest of it. But yeah, it's pretty neat because that location is apparently home to something similar. People have encountered strange things, strange shadow people and so on within that dorm area, specifically within that washing room area as well. So if that's the case, I'm wondering how many times people have similarly, students who live there in that dorm, have encountered this type of thing, like as far as a shadow figure haunting that location or moving about their dorm rooms, that kind of stuff. I would love to be able to check it out sometime in the future, like actually inside the dorm and then see that washing room area. But otherwise, that's the closest I've had to a similar experience to this as far as what this user had as well. But let me know what you guys think. Post it in the comments below about this creepy story. All right, everybody. Thanks again as always. Take care. Bye.